synthetic marijuana, aka K2, confirmed as cause of New Haven overdoses. New Haven The drug that caused as many as 71 overdoses in New Haven since Tuesday night was K2, or synthetic marijuana, according to an emergency department physician at Yale New Haven Hospital and the city's emergency management director. But there was conflicting information about whether or not it was laced with fentanyl, or whether perhaps some samples on the street were and others weren't. Dr. Catherine Hawk, an emergency department physician with Yale New Haven Hospital, said that the drug that caused the overdoses was K2 laced with fentanyl. The Drug Enforcement Administration was actually in the emergency department today, and confirmed the presence of fentanyl, said Hawk. But City Office of Emergency Management Director Rick Fontana said the DEA office in New York confirmed that what was in a joint taken from one victim was K2 that was not laced with any opioid. According to Hawk, most patients got naloxone by EMS, emergency medical services, and some in the emergency department and so far no one has died thanks to the availability of naloxone in our EMS effort. She said one way fentanyl was confirmed was by a toxidrome, which is what a person looks like rather than what they think they took. Hawk said the K2, also known as spice, is likely linked to one batch or one part of the supply but it's also part of a larger systemic issue. You never know what you are going to get. Hawk is also an addiction researcher who is studying how, after an unanticipated event, we can use that opportunity to link that person to treatment. Our emergency department is actually working with EDS across the country in disseminating this model, which tries to get the patient on a course of methadone or suboxone, a drug that contains naloxone and buprenorphine, and which helps prevent withdrawal symptoms. When people come into the emergency department the most important thing is having an open door policy, so when they come and you meet them where they are, Hawk said. The goal is to get the patient into treatment within three days. Another effort is to distribute naloxone into the community, so that family, friends and acquaintances have it in case someone overdoses. The shorter period of time that the brain is without oxygen, the better it is for everybody, Hawk said. There's no evidence to support that it increases risky drug use but there is evidence that it saves lives, she said. Dr. Sten Vermund, dean of the Yale School of Public Health, said that by calling K2 synthetic marijuana, in some ways you are doing a disservice to marijuana, because it's not nearly as potent. The generic term is synthetic marijuana compounds, but I find that to be misleading, he said. The synthetic compounds have potential for a wide variety of side effects, he said. He called K2 a big potpourri of potentially dangerous drugs. There's so much garbage that's being sold and you can call it whatever you want to call it. Even the drug dealers don't know. Vermont said the opioid epidemic has been fueling a lot of this. People who are opioid addicted they need to get high. Sometimes they're not even wanting to get high. They just want to avoid going into withdrawal. We've seen the overdoses in the heroin-using community, by the thousands, Vermont said, with opioid addiction rising from 400,000 in the late 1970s to 2.6 million now. We're in a new normal. This is a very serious time, he said. It's a very serious crisis.